Admits articles emerges as PDP's presidential candidate. Controversies have been that Governor of River State, Yesom Wike, was betrayed. Do you also agree? Hello and welcome to another episode of Street Voice, where we ask Nigerians their views and opinions on topical issues. I am Adiola Adesoya. Join me on the street as voice your view on today's topic. The MSME Sphere is here again. Are you a business owner, entrepreneur or business executive? Then, this program is definitely for you. Yes, the exhibition is an opportunity for macro, small and medium-scale business operators to network, bring the product closer to consumers and gain international attention as well as free media coverage of your product and company. Date 6th to 10th of June 2022. Venue Center for Management Development CMD Shangisha Magodo Lagos. For participation and inquiry, please call 0813055199 or 0816554979. Mundan, establishing a structured and efficient micro, small, and medium enterprises for sustainable economic development of Nigeria. Powered by Media Target Limited. Atiku's emergence as the presidential candidate for the PDP would make um, the 2023 presidential election more robust, more competitive, and more exciting, uh, given his track record of um, being a very big political mobilizer. Uh, don't forget, Atiku has been in this game since 1991. Uh, this is about his fifth or sixth presidential run. Yeah, so um, he has the war chest, uh, he has the mass national appeal. So I think that, except APC presents someone who can match him, you know, in terms of financial muscle, in terms of popularity, uh, maybe with power of incumbency. But I can assure you that uh, if this is not done, if APC doesn't tidy its house, doesn't put its house in order, um, Atiku will be Nigeria's next president. It's a function of what the people want. It's a function of what Nigerians want. It's also a function of what um, other parties are bringing to the table. Because it's not just his party that will determine. It's, it's also a function of if a very strong and credible candidate comes from the other party's vine. Of course, he might just be the other way. And if God says it's his, why not? The question I will ask is, does Artiku actually have the capability to lead us at this time? Even the WK himself that is also vying for this position, does he really have that capability? But it is left for the people to decide. You know, but for the primary election, this it just shows that how united the southerners are and how sincere they actually want to rule the nation because we've been having some perennial rule from the north. If the southerners are not um, what call it, united, of course, what, we, what happened in the primaries is what we'll see you know, at the end of the day when the, when the main election comes. So for me, what they have sown is what they have reaped. I cannot say so because Governor Wike is just a new uh, presidential candidate. So I can't say that uh, he's being betrayed because he's just like uh, somebody that is there for a long time. And you that just come in, you cannot just come and say that somebody betrayed you. Party will come up with the position, but of course Wike will feel betrayed because he probably had a give with certain people and you know politics is always a game of number and if you don't have the adequate number in time uh, you might just swing away from you. even those that are promised you can betray you at the last minute based on other factors to him he deserves to win but they need to work more you know all these our nigerian politicians you know they will come with sweet mouth but when they enter there they will deviate. So that is the problem there. We, we average Nigerians, 
we know them. They will come with the sweetest things. They will, they will do this, they will do that, they will do this, they will do that. But when they get on that seat, automatically, you see, you see the same man that promised he was going to do this, he was going to do that. He, he start bluffing. So all these things are, it has become Nigerian factor and Nigerian system. So it's not a surprise to me, Atiku being a match at president, but I wish him all the best. Wherever he is, he should work more hard. It's nothing strange that Atiku emerged as the presidential candidate for PDP. But meanwhile, we still have the APC to consider and the candidate they have to field to a large extent. It's going to be someone to completely look out. But I think in the, the person of Peter Obi has been pulling a lot of weight in recent times amongst the young people. And even respect, irrespective of the party he emerges as, people still tend to look towards his own candidacy because they thought that Peter Obi could have been the flag bearer of PDP to a large extent was posing a little bit of hope in the hearts of people. So I am not, I'm not so much of a freak of Nigerian politics and I'd rather not go ahead to campaign for any individual. What, what do you mean by deserve? Someone that deserves is someone that has actually I would like to made a change. There's no one place I've gone to from Lagos to at least in the whole West that they will now say that Atiku is the one that did this. So what do you mean by deserve? It's not his father's property. It's not, it's like Nigeria is not for them. It's for all of us. So I'm not sure he deserves it. When you say deserve, I don't think so. Winning the primaries, that's his own. He invested in it so he can win. If he gives them money and you know, and they vote him in, they vote him in. But when you talk about deserving, no. I don't even think anybody, to be honest, I don't think any politician from above 65 deserves anything more to do in Nigeria. Of course, of course, but their politics is outdated. The reason why I would say is not betrayed is if there was cooperation or there's an agreement. A written agreement between the Zataners that they will support him. But there was no written agreement. Everybody is there to vie for the position and God for them all. And there's the person that was able to pay the highest money that won. So that was exactly what happened. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Street Boys. I am Adiola. This one here till I come your way again. The MSME's fair is here again. Are you a business owner, entrepreneur or business executive? Then, this program is definitely for you. Yes, the exhibition is an opportunity for macro, small and medium scale business operators to network, bring their products closer to consumers and gain international attention as well as free media coverage of your products and company. Date 6th to 10th of June 2022. Venue Center for Management Development CMD, Shangisha Magodo, Lagos. For participation and inquiry, please call 0813055199 or 0816554971. Mumjan, establishing a structured and efficient micro, small, and medium enterprises for sustainable economic development of Nigeria, powered by Media Target Limited.